Welcome to this video where we'll be sharing 9 facts about the 9th Guru that you probably did not know. And make sure you stay to the end of this video because the 9th fact is probably the coolest and the craziest of them all. Fact number 1. When Sidi Guru Tegh Bahadji took Prakash in Guru Ki Mehal, which is in Amritsar Sahib, the news spread all around and it came to Sidi Akal Tak Sahib, which is where Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji was, the 6th Guru and who is also their father. So Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji hearing the news was so happy that they came to see their son. And what was the first thing that they did when they saw Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji? They actually bowed in their feet. Really cool right, a father actually bowing to their own son. And when the other Guru Sikhs saw this, Bhai Bidhi Chandji at that time said that you have five sons in total now, but you only bow to the fifth one. What is the reason for this? And that's when Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji says that this fifth son of mine is going to be the Guru in the future. Fact number two, when it came to naming our ninth Guru, what happened one day was that the servant had taken the ninth Guru to go and see their father, Siddhi Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji. And what she did was that she placed the ninth Guru in the feet of Siddhi Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji. And when she lifted it back up, our sixth Guru, Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji, always carried two swords. And the ninth Guru, just being a young baby, held on to both of the handles of those swords. And the servant seeing this, she tried to pull the ninth Guru away, but she didn't have enough strength for her. And Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji, the father seeing this, started to smile. And they said that my child is giving us a sign to what their name should be. That they were, they're going to be Tegdi Bahadri. They're going to be very brave with the swords. And at that time, the sixth Guru, Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji, named the ninth Guru Teg Bahadur Ji. Fact number three. Our ninth Guru was known to renounce the whole world. Always absorbed in meditation, in serving other people and not thinking about themselves. And one story to illustrate this was when their eldest brother, Baba Gurudetta Ji, was going to get married. The mother of Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji dressed most so beautifully for that wedding. Jewelry, nice clothes, you name it. And at that time when the wedding was taking place, a poor person came along and when Guru Sahib Ji saw them, they felt so much compassion for them that they gave their own clothes and their jewelry to that person. And this is showing us how Guru Sahib Ji did not care about what other people thought about them. And in their own words, they say, Ustit Nindya Nahe Jehe Kanchin Loho Saman Koho Nanak Sunare Mana Mukta Tahe Tejan. That that one who is above slander and praiser, who sees gold and iron as the same, that person is truly liberated. Fact number four as well as showing us a spiritual side, our ninth Guru also showed us the warrior side as well. So, fighting alongside their father, Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji and their two brothers, Baba Gurditta Ji and Baba Suraj Mal Ji, they fought in the Battle of Siri Kartarpur Sahib against 100,000 Mughal soldiers. What's really interesting is that they were the youngest of the five sons. And the family has said to him that you don't need to fight in this battle, but they were persistent that they were going to fight in that battle. And they fought so ferociously where also they lived up to their name, Tegh Bahadur. Fact number five Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji saved a ship from sinking. So when somebody named by Makkan Shah Labana was at sea with his soldiers, with his workers, there was at this small little island or some rocks which his ship got stuck on and they couldn't move it. They even got off the ship and tried to push it, but nothing worked. One day passed, two days passed, and now a month had passed and they'd eaten all their rations that they had on the ship. Since everything had failed, the only thing by Makkan Shah could do now was a humble plea to the Guru. So with all his men, they washed their hands, they washed their feet, and they did this ardas together. And in the ardas, they said to the Guru that all these items that I'm trading right now, whatever money I make for them, I will donate 500 gold coins to you. And after doing this humble plea, a loud sound was heard, and that ship was catapulted back into the sea. So by Makkan Shah was saved. And later on, when it reached Bakale Pind, which is where the ninth Guru was, they actually offered those 500 coins to the Guru and Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji at that time showed their shoulder. The shoulder that they used to save by Makkan Shah and push that ship back into the ocean. Fact number six, assassination attempt on the Guru. So when by Makkan Shah had come to find the Guru at that time and gave those 500 coins, in that village, there was 22 other people claiming to be the Guru at the same time. So everyone was very confused. But there was one person in particular known as Tirmal, who is related to Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. And he was seen as the most obvious choice because he was a brother 
of the seventh Guru, but he also had Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji with him as well. And his men had said to him that Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji is the biggest threat to you. So what you should do is that you should kill them and steal all their wealth. So one of the men of Tirmal actually went to the home of Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji and they fired a bullet at Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. And they say that bullet just skimmed the forehead of the ninth Guru and blood actually came out of the matha, the forehead of Sri Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. Even with all this happening, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji didn't even care about it. But when Pai Makan Shah found out about this, he took his soldiers and went to go and punish those people who had done this to the ninth Guru and brought back all that wealth as well. Fact number seven, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji was refused entry to Sri Hadamandara Sahib. When they were travelling with Pai Makan Shah to Kadur Sahib, to Gondor Sahib, they decided that now they'll come to Sri Hadamandara Sahib. But when they arrived, the four doors were locked and the Darshan Diori door was locked as well. And who was doing this? It was the Masans. The reason why they were doing this for is because they were so greedy for all their wealth and therefore if the Guru was to come, they're going to take all their wealth away from us. So what did the ninth Guru do? They actually went and did a Shanan. They bathed in the Amrita Sarovar and they went and sat underneath a tree. And that tree today you can find, which is now a Godara Sahib, known as Godara Tara Sahib, where Guru Sahib Ji stayed and later when they moved on to a Guru Sikh's home. So as we said earlier, they had darshan many times of Sri Haramandara Sahib, but later on in their life, they refused entry. Fact number eight, when the ninth Guru was traveling across East India, saving many people and connecting them to the truth, there was one family who fell in love with Guru Sahib Ji so much that the mother of that home could not bear to live without seeing Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji every single day. And when Guru Sahib Ji heard this, they said, bring a painter here and tell them to paint a picture of me. And whenever you look at that picture, just like how you see me in this physical form, you'd have that same experience through the picture. An artist then arrived to paint the ninth Guru, painting the room, painting the beautiful clothes that the Guru was wearing. But when it came to actually painting the face, they really struggled. The Guru's face was glowing so much and they couldn't paint that. So when the ninth Guru could sense this struggle, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji themselves painted their own face and finished off that painting and then placed it on the bed that they always sit on. And today, you can have darshan of that same sarup as well. Fact number nine, the ninth Guru actually gave their own life so the Hindus could continue to practice their own faith in freedom. So during that time, the Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb was forcefully converting all the Hindus to his own faith. Thousands of people were converted every single day, but it was taking too long. So what they thought to themselves was that instead of converting the people, let's just convert their leaders and they'd be much quicker. When the Hindu leaders heard about this, they didn't know what to do. So they said to the Mughals, that give us six months to think about this. In those six months, they meditated for countless hours until they realized that the only one who could help them was the ninth Guru of the Sikhs, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji. So they came to the ninth Guru and they said to them, Baha Asadi Pakriya Guru Har Gobind Ke Chand. They said, will you hold on to our arm? Will you protect us? The son of the sixth Guru, Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji. When Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji heard this, they said to them that whoever's arm I hold on to, I will never let go of it. Even if I have to give my own head, I will never let go of your arm. Having said this, the ninth Guru issued a challenge to the Mughal leaders saying, if you could convert me, then you could convert all of the Hindus. But if you fail, then nobody's going to get converted. So in 1675, despite all the efforts the Mughals made, they were able to convert the ninth Guru. And this led them to have no other choice but to execute the ninth Guru. So in Chandani Chok, Delhi, Sidi Guru Tegh Bahadur was beheaded, but they lived up to the words that they said to the Hindus, where they would give their head, but never let go of their arms. And none of the Hindus were converted after this. So we come to the end of this video now. Nine facts about the ninth Guru that you probably did not know. If there was something that you learned new here, then make sure you let us know in the comments section. If there's something we missed out and you think that was an interesting fact as well, then please share that with us. Make sure you guys share this video, like this video, and subscribe to this channel as well. So please forgive all the mistakes that have been made. Vahi Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vahi Guru Ji Ki Fateh.